Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, Mabel should be over at the main center area, so I definitely wanna go and shop with her soon. But for right now, uh, we also have some mail, so we should check that out. So we have something from Gulliver. Of course, we helped him out last episode. Thanks for helping me escape your quaint little island stripe of stripe. A literal lifesaver like you deserves a reward, so please accept this souvenir from my travels. See you soon, probably. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get that present. We also have some Nook shopping stuff. Um, I need to register my Nook music today, or my, my KK slider music. Uh, Pashmina also sent us a letter. Yo, Zebra, my usual morning walk takes me right by the post office. So this morning I thought, hey, why not write my buddy a letter? So I did. It feels pretty good. You should try writing me one, or writing one to me too. So, the post office. Is that just part of the main town hall, I guess? Probably. I'm not really sure, maybe I should try writing a letter at some point. But for right now, I would really like to talk to Mabel and see if I can't convince her to set up a shop. That'd be perfect. And there's a money tree thing, so I might as well grab that. Um, look, if I, I dug a, th a, a thousand bells, I can't pronounce anything already today. That's not a good sign. There we go. Hi, Mabel, how are you? I at least wanna see what you have. I don't know if I have too much money right now. Oh, hey, Zebra, you came at just the right time. There's something I'd like to ask you for today. Could I bend your ear for a bit? Sure, what's up? Oh, thank you. You see, I wanted to ask you about a location for the store that we're thinking of opening. Thanks to you, we've gained a lot of customers on this island who can't, uh, can't wait for me to come here peddling, peddling. <laughs> so I've been talking with my sister about opening up a proper store right here on this island. Yes, please. So today I came to chat with Tom Nook and we had a great conversation. It was all like, we have some materials left over from building Nook's cranny, hmm? All that must be done to, is to select an appropriate location, yes? Oh-ho, and the perfect individual to help you find that location will be Zebra, yes, hmm, yes? So I figured I'd just keep doing the traveling peddler thing until I ran into you again, and that's now. Oh geez, I've just been rambling on and on, haven't I? Sorry, I'm pretty excited about all this. Anyway, my sister and I would feel better opening this shop uh, with the help of someone Tom Nook trusts. So how about it, Zebra? Uh, can you be our location scout? Sure thing. Seriously? Oh, you're a total lifesaver. All right then, let me give this you this Taylor's construction kit. Cool. I'm so happy with this. Just set it up in whatever spot makes sense to you and that's where we'll have our shop built. So I think that honestly, if we take a look at the map, um, this bottom corner of our place like is already pretty crowded. I don't know if I wanna stuff anything more down here, but if we take a look at the map right here, we can really make a decision on that. I mean, I guess there is some spot under my house if I wanna do that, or if I wanted to put it up by the park. I don't know if I wanna do that either. So, I mean, I feel like eventually we'll move some houses around and stuff, but for right now, I guess I will just put it right under my house. Should be fine. Um, so if I, yeah, I think right here should be okay. Um, Taylor's constru construction kit right here. Seems good to me. Reserve this space, but we'll also take a look at it just to be sure. Oh, it's so cute, Abel sisters. Is this a good spot? Okay, so am I been, wait, is her name Abel or Mabel? I don't know, we'll find out. Um, This is where the Taylor shop will go. A wave of fashion will f wash over us, okay. <laughs> That's cool. So we'll have the, the thing finally set up. I've been waiting for that. Anyways, so her name is Mabel. So is her full name Mabel Abel? Hey, you found the spot for the shop. Thanks so much, Zebra. Once we're all set up and everything, I hope you'll swing by and support my sister and me. Of course I will, but in the meantime, can I buy anything? Sorry, I've closed up the shop for the day. But come see me again for another time, okay? Yeah, so I'm a little late for that, unfortunately. But I am so happy to know that we got that all set up. And that also means, oh, I'm recording this at 10.03. They just closed. Anyways, we'll just go and chat with some villagers and see what else is going. We got Gigi over this way. There you are, Ribet. And looking fabulous as ever, I see. Let's chat. I hope you have something exciting planned for today. I can be quite a, it can be quite invigorating to change your routine. I mean, definitely my routine's a bit changed right now. It's pretty late at night. Do you need me for something? Let's talk. Aren't you quite the explorer? That shovel you were holding comes in handy, doesn't it? You aren't the only one who knows their way around a shovel. I myself dig for hot springs on occasion. I can't say I've had much success, but I'll keep trying. The effort is worth the free spa day, Ribet. So I guess maybe you can dig and find a, a hot spring. Interesting. And also here's Pashmina. Thank you for the letter earlier. What is up, Zebra? What's the latest? I can't decide what I wanna do next. Do I go bug catching, fishing, maybe gardening? Ah, too many choices. 
What do we have for items right now? Because I said, I, apparently I can give her something. Also, we never saw what this was. This was from Gulliver. It's a turban. Huh, fancy, I like it. Don't think it's gonna really fit my outfit at the moment, so I'm gonna leave it be, but pretty cool. We also got a floating biotope planner, and also KK Ray guy. Cool. Uh, let's see what else we can talk to Pashmina about. You again, kidders? Did you forget about something last time? Let's talk. What's the shovel for? Out bearing some secrets? <laughs> Kidding, kidders. All right, well, no, we're actually just digging up ancient artifacts with fossils and stuff, it's fun. And also, we can, of course, go and uh, get to digging for all this, so this'll be good. Um, oh, I hope I'm not going at a bad angle, I sort of am. Oh no, oh, it's all ruined. <laughs> I might be able to get a couple more, but not too much. Yeah, that's it, so a couple of rocks and some clay, but we'll just, you know, go around, do our daily stuff, because this is a new day that I'm recording this. Um, this is the day after last episode. Um, but we got some Noko Miles Plus. There was actually a ton, five, so 500 miles for that. And we also need to catch a surgeon fish, sell clumps of weeds. I can't really do that anymore because it's closed anyways. Redeem Nook Miles, catch fish, chop wood. So I'll try to work on some of that soon. We don't have too much fruit today because of course we uh, already got it yesterday. But we can run around and get some extra fossils. That should be open because of course Blathers is open 24 seven because he's such a hard worker. I really appreciate it. Hmm. See, honestly, not too much complicated that we have to do in today's episode. I just have to run around and get the fossils, um, talk to villagers if I see them. I'm not seeing, aha, here's one. I was gonna say, I haven't seen too many fossil spots, but this is definitely one of them. Maybe we'll catch some extra fish. Like it said, we have to catch five for um, a new thing. I wonder if Red is there today. Uh, not quite. Yeah, I never really know when he might show up. But apparently with Mabel, it was once every week. So I'm going to try to start playing daily again or as close as I can to daily so that I can have a higher chance of getting that kind of stuff figured out. But for right now, you know, this might be like a great episode to try to clean up the town a little bit more. Um, you know, clean up some weeds and stuff. But on top of that, maybe I could figure out some more placements for things. I, I definitely have to look over everything. I definitely need like a long-term to-do list. I just need to set that up so that I always know there's something to do each day. Because I feel like I've been sort of stuck in this weird in the middle rut. Like we've been very busy with some, you know, holiday events and stuff with May Day and there was Earth Day and before that there was Easter um, Egg Day. But now there, there isn't really too much going on with that kind of stuff for right now. And that gives me the chance to sort of start focusing on some other stuff, you know? What do I need to do to progress the town? What do I need to do for all that kind of stuff? That's why I gotta start figuring out again. Let's get all over this way. Luckily, did not scare that fish away, somehow. Usually, using the pole near them does the trick, but not this time. Hmm. So not really seeing any fossil spots around here, but I, did I get the rock? Where did it go? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Definitely didn't get it, so let's work on that now. Oh, no, I did. <laughs> I guess I was just doing it while I was talking, so I just wasn't thinking about it too much. Because our town, unfortunately, is still one star, and maybe that just relies on me cleaning the place up a bit. I'm not really sure. Okay, but this area is actually looking pretty good. I'm hoping that the Mabel sisters coming, or the Abel sisters coming to the town will also be another big help when it comes to uh, getting the town ranking up a little bit. I'd only imagine, right, but who knows. So we'll run down the beach over this way and see if we can't find anything more in terms of uh, oh. fossil spots, extra shells. Those are all good things to get. Honestly, haven't found too many fossils yet. I've only found two of them. Okay. Oh, oh, there's a lost item. Ta-da! I picked up a lost item. I should probably try to reunite it with, with, with its owner. I will. Also pick up some of the weeds around this area a little bit. Oh, hey, it's Apple. Were you missing something? How are you doing, cheekers? You lose this? I don't know, let me see. Uh, here you go. It would make sense, you got that little basket, maybe something fell out. Thanks for bringing this to me, but it's, it is totes, not mine. Hmm, it kinda strikes me as a stew deal, like a stew deal, might be worth a shot. <laughs> All right, well, stew's right over here, so that'll be good. Can I talk to you about anything else? Zebra, do you need something, cheekers? Let's chat. Someone's been burying bells, and <laughs> any idea who? Ha, <laughs> Zebra, I totes know it was you. I think maybe they've already sprouted, but pretty quick return on investment, eh, Cheekers? Yeah, I agree. 
She's so charismatic. She's easy to talk to. I appreciate it. Uh, oh yeah, so let's figure out this rock and then we'll go talk to Stu and probably, um, um, Celia. There we go. Nope, not a money rock. So we have three more we need to mess with on the normal corner of the island. But I definitely would like to reorganize things eventually. I mean, it costs a lot of bells to do so, so I definitely want to hold on until it's not as high, but like it right now it's not a high priority, you know? Everything is, you know, where it can be. It's not maybe the prettiest, but I can always improve that later once we're farther in the game. Um, but for right now, like, my main goal is just to sort of progress through the game as much as possible. Because I know it costs money to move things, but maybe we can make it eventually so that there's a residential area and a shop area. It'd probably be better, for sure. So I, I want to work on that. And... Oh, hey, they're having a little sleepover! <laughs> hey, neat, you came by to visit Stu, too? Cool, Squirt. I want to chat. Take it easy, have a drink or something. Make yourself at home. What am I saying? This isn't even my house, Squirt. Yo, it's not just dude. These guys are cool. Hey, Viv just showed up too. Let's try it. Let's, let's have a snack party. You drop this? Can you um show me what you two were you talking about? Uh, lost item. My favorite bag. I've been looking everywhere for him. I can't believe you found him. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I've been looking everywhere for this. Let me give you a reward. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you like that. It's an ironing set. Ooh. Nice. So let's take a look at that. Well, maybe I can't put it down right now, but that's cool. Um, I do need to sort of move my inventory a bit here. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, cool stuff. Um, I'll talk to you a little bit more. Hey, uh, what's new, Maru? Uh, what's the latest? Wow, it feels like a birthday party or even a regular party with everyone over like this. I'm glad you guys are having fun. But I gotta skedaddle. There's plenty left to do. Bye. <laughs> they both wave at me. Oh, that's so sweet. We'll also go say hello to Celia, because it looks like she was um at her house. Hello? Yep, okay, she is. So Celia's probably just chilling out. I know it's a little late right now. Oh, she's working. She's a, she's a bit of a, a, a night eagle. Sorry, I'm in the middle of something right now. What are you up to? I'm currently crafting a log chair, just to see how I do at it. DIY is a great way to learn by doing. I'm totally obsessed with it. Zebra, want to learn how to make your own log chair? Sure. All right. I wrote down all the details right here. It should be easy for you. Well, thank you very much. Give it a try when you have the time and materials, Feathers. I definitely need to do some more crafting soon. It's on my to-do list. <laughs> um, a lot of things are, right? But definitely with that, um, I'll just have to sort of see what's available. But hey, we're gonna keep moving so we talk to everybody but Kyle. I think. So, we'll get to that soon enough. But for right now, let's dig at this rock. Just a normal one, but that's fine with me. Okay, keep going. One more. Nice. Got an iron nugget, or two out of it, or four, <laughs> I suppose. Well, this one didn't have too much. It means that maybe the next one will have a good chunk for us. I do gotta be careful with my materials. Like I said, Timmy and Tommy are closed for the day. So if I get a broken tool, I'm gonna have to make the replacement myself, which isn't that big of a deal. It just, you know, sometimes I'm busy. <laughs> there we go, here's fossil number three. I think there might only be four fossils around and about today. Like I said, sometimes there could be more, sometimes there could be less, but only four. Blather should definitely be able to take that, so that's good. Oh, not the money rock. So there's only one last chance to get a money rock today, and it is with the rock by Pashmina's house. So we'll see how that goes. But for right now, I'm just gonna collect all this. And I definitely wanna talk to Tom Nook and just sort of see what our options are when it comes to improving the town. Uh, is there anything down here? Not looking like it. I'm just looking for any kind of uh, thing, any kind of um, message in a bottle, but nope, we're fine. So let's do that and get to digging. Yep, money rock. Okay, so we just gotta keep digging until we get the full thing. There we go. Two more, one more. Yeah, awesome. So now we got some good cash. It does stink that I couldn't get anything from Mabel, 
but at the same time, she's gonna have a whole shop set up in the next couple of days. It's gonna be building tomorrow and then be available the next day. So hopefully we'll be able to get to it eventually. <laughs> but for right now, that's most of everything figured out. I just gotta find Kyle and talk to him. Cause he's probably at his house, just chilling out right down this way. Hey Kyle. Does every person have their own signature by the way? You can see their sign by their house. Maybe, that'd be cool. Oh wow, yeah, I love his place so much. Welcome to the Casa de Kyle. That's Spanish for Kyle's crib. I wanna chat. I hear you've been racking up Nook Miles like crazy. Hope you get something really cool and exclusive when you trade him in, Alpha. Yeah, I definitely want to. Yo, you wanna chat? I don't blame you, Alpha. I love his confidence. That outfit is getting to be like your signature outfit. That's good for, you, for your brand, Zebra. I agree. All right, you got my attention. What's up, Alpha? Do we have anything to give you? For me? Quite a surprise. Uh, what do we want to give him? I don't want to give him a stick, do I? <laughs> maybe he'd appreciate that. I don't know, maybe we'll just give him like a giant clam. Here's a clam. How about that? You got me a giant clam. You gotta love an island themed gift. Way to coordinate. You're too generous, seriously, I can't just take that for free. Here, let me give you 1,170 bells for it, I insist. All right, well thank you. I need to give something to Gigi as well, I've never given her a gift before. All right, Kyle, see ya. I love his, I think the interior to his house is my favorite so far. It just has so much character to it. I think second would probably be uh, Gigi. So our newest villagers are knocking it out of the park with the style. How are you today? I'm, I'm good, oh, I can't give you anything right now. Okay, what's the latest? Ooh, Zebra, I hear you earned some uh, some ridiculous number of Nook miles yesterday. It's just so satisfying to save up those miles, isn't it? Suppose I best get on it myself. Indeed. So I guess they're really trying to point attention to that. I don't see any other fossils. Maybe I only have three today. I must have missed one somewhere, but just don't see where that is. Um, but maybe throughout our adventures today, we'll run into it. If not, no big deal. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get the three that we currently have assessed. I can't sell any duplicates, but I can at least, you know, get them figured out for right now. Hey, buddy. Good evening, Zebra. Welcome to the Stripe Museum. How may I be of service? Um, assess a fossil, or three fossils, actually. Uh, one, two, and three, perfect. Ooh, more than one I see. Let's take a closer look, shall we? I found something that's not yet a part of our collection. Awesome, so let's go ahead and definitely donate at least that one thing. Um, alrighty. So, make a donation. What do we got for you? Spino tail. Cool. Ooh, hoo, hoo, could it be? It is a spino tail. Does this mean? Yes, it is done. The Spinosaurus is complete. A splendid specimen indeed. The Spinosaurus was a remarkable creature. Pray tell, might you mind learning with a few facts? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna start skipping that so that, oh, I feel so bad. Um, he seemed upset about that. Because I definitely wanna go through the entire um, catalog of everything once it's complete. I don't know when that'll be, but whenever it is, like we could take a quick look. I wanna be able to read through everything and just sort of experience the museum and its completed glory, you know? That would be cool. But as you can see, we're a long ways away from that. Like even in this room, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more things to get. So it's just about playing every day, getting a little bit closer um, and hoping for the best. And then over this way, you can tell that there are things that definitely need to be completed, but we're much, much closer to it than ever before. I mean, obviously, because <laughs> we just donated something new. Uh, but that's just so exciting to see. So hopefully that continues. Um, but there is still so much more even beyond this to find, which we will continue working at. But uh, on top of that, uh, you know, we'll be doing that for all the other places as well. That's why I'm really hoping that Red shows up a bit more often so that we can continue working on all that. Also, is that the, the tarantula? Wouldn't that be a bug donation? Huh. Yeah, it won't actually tell me about that one. Weird. I mean, I guess it actually doesn't give you the description for them here, which is a little odd. Maybe there's a way to get it, I don't know. Uh, but for right now, <laughs> we're just gonna keep moving forward. All right, so I wanna go into the town center for right now. And like I said, we'll sort of catch up with Tom Nook, see what my different options are. I would love to finally maybe just get to getting a staircase. I feel like that's probably something I need to work on. We got a tire! I'm taking the tire. I don't know what we'll do with it, but 
I can never tire at finding free tires, right? I don't know. We have 32,000 Nook Miles. We're getting 80 bonus right here. Um, there's got to be some new stuff to check out here soon. I mean, maybe I should just start buying some of the other stuff, even if I don't need it, just to fill our town more. I really don't need a magazine. Um, we'll definitely get Steep Hill. Place an order for that. And... Like I said, we'll check out the, the other Nook Mile services right here. With 32,000, I definitely need to get something. We definitely have the Imperial Fence, but do we have the Iron Stone? Nope, I mean, yes, we do have it. Uh, drinking Fountain, I think the Drinking Fountain would be a nice touch. So I'll buy that one. And then on top of that, I wanna get a couple of other things figured out. Because like the manhole cover seems like a nice little idea, but I don't know where I'd put that, where it would actually look Believable. I like the stone tablet. But is that really what I want? I think I'd be happier with the brick well. Yep. I mean, it is just the recipe for it, so we will still have to make it ourselves. Um, but still, cool to get this stuff. Which is weird. It's not always like that, right? You know, we, we have gotten, like, the sand castle and stuff, and that would just sent to us. Yeah, you can see that's all that stuff down there. Interesting how it works that way. Um... Okay, um, and around this way, there's a couple of other things. What, what other things can we get shipped to us? I'm tempted with the vending machine, for sure. I think that this would actually be a nice touch for the park, having a little place to tell the time. Okay, because I really want that to be, like if we have a residential part of the town, we have a um, shopping kind of like commerce part of the town, and then finally if we could have a recreational part of the town where it's like, oh yeah, the soccer, let's just get this. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of a spending spree right now. Um, but yeah, a recreational part. There's a park, there's a camping ground, that kind of thing. I think that's a really cool sort of setup. Did I ever buy a pool? I guess I didn't. I don't know, I, I don't know how the, the spacing of it would work out right now. Um, so I think that that, that was about 9,000, um, miles spent. I think that's pretty good. And it looks like, I guess we will be spending 500 miles in today's episode, so that's pretty cool. Uh, much more than that, actually, but we get 400 miles out of it. Um, so talk to your neighbors. I've already talked to a bunch of them, but I guess I'll have to talk to more of them soon. Uh, but let's talk to Tom Nook. Hey, buddy. I just want to see what my options are, because I think it might be good to finally make a bridge or a staircase up to the second floor. Uh, this is a construction consultation center. How can I help you? Uh, one thing, what if I ask what should I do? I'm pretty sure he's gonna say Project K, all that kind of stuff. I know. Chat with Isabel. I mean, she doesn't really give me any advice on improving it. She just gives a one review about ghosts. <laughs> I don't know. It wouldn't hurt to start getting ready for the concert by familiarizing yourself with some of KK songs too. So I definitely, I think that might be a bit more of a hint. So we're gonna register our KK songs soon. Um... So, let's talk infrastructure. I just wanna see what our options are. Uh, sell some land. Oh, that would, might be a good idea. Uh, yeah, prep for a future home, excellent. 10,000 bells, that's fine. So I think I'm gonna be spending a bit of money today. I'm sorry about this, but it might just be what's best. So 10,000 bells. Um, and I'll just hand over the, the housing kit you'll need. Use it to claim a plot for a new house, Zebra. Uh, just use the kit when you find a good location. Off you go now. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, let's also talk other infrastructure, because I would like to set this house up on the second flooring, I guess, like the the, the mountain. Um, I have a bridges and inclines. So let's make an incline. How much is one incline? So obviously we would probably want the cheapest one, the natural ramp. Uh, because it's just so much cheaper. That'd be 98,000 bells. Um, and th some of these are just insanely expensive. I don't know even like the look of that too much, so I don't think I'd ever really get that one. But I think I would eventually want either the log staircase or the stone staircase, which are actually the same pricing. Or the brick one. That's a little bit more expensive though. Um, so I'm good for now. I'm going to go ahead and get, I think it was 128,000 bells out. I know it's a... Uh, Pretty expensive, but I think we'll be all right. So, ABD, because I have that much. Yeah, okay. So if I deposit everything I have right now, confirm. 
and then I just withdraw, let's say about 135,000, so I have some left over just for the day-to-day -day things. Uh, that should be good. So we're gonna sign off right now. We haven't had a camp person in a while, so like somebody camping. Um, this is a constru construction, blah, 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 blah. Infrastructure. Bridges and inclines. An incline. <laughs> I know, it's, it's a lot of work, right? So, uh, we're just going to do the natural ramp for right now. It's on 8,000 bells. I guess I, yeah, I was getting confused here. We're just gonna do this one. Save bells where we can. And I will have to choose where we wanna set that up. I'm guessing the smartest place to do that will be behind the three houses that are on the bottom, right? Use the incline marker key I placed within your pockets to set aside some land for our incline project. You'll want a decent amount of space to use it and make sure you're standing near the base of the cliff. Uh, when you're ready, you'll be able to imagine what your new incline will look like. All right then, so there we go. And that's, I'm glad that we're getting that kind of stuff figured out today is some more stuff to improve the town. I'm really hoping that at some point we can unlock pathway painting where you can like paint the pathways on the floor. That's gonna be cool because we can just sort of make the whole town look a little bit more spiffy and connected instead of it just sort of being random houses flo floating around. There'll be pathways to follow. Maybe we can make like some flowers surrounding them and stuff. That'd be cool. But I'm thinking right about here is probably going to be best. So we're just immediately going to build this. Too close to the cliff. Wait, oh, this is the housing thing. I got very confused. I was like, w that's the point. Um, Let me imagine it. Sure, you know, that's that's just what we got. <laughs> okay, and the little uh, guy should pop up, he's so cute. Hooray, I picked a spot for an incline. That's a step up for this island. Cool, so we're gonna get our first incline set up, and then over this way, we set up with the ladder. Um, I will wanna find a place for the house. But you know, while we're here, maybe we should clean it up for whoever eventually moves in. I mean, we don't even know who's gonna move in just right now, but I want to, of course, you know, figure that out eventually. So, maybe just cleaning up the, at least the entry part so that we can have like this grand opening would be cool. I have to dig these ones up, but for right now, I'm just gonna get the weeds out of the way. Just so that when we sign on either tomorrow or the day after or whenever this will end up popping up, uh, we'll be good. That'll be cool, right? So there we go. Just getting some of these out of the way. So where do I wanna set up the house? I'm thinking, you know, just honestly, there's plenty of room. I'll just pop it down right here. I don't want it too close to where the incline is, but it'd be nice if it's near the pond. Yep. I think that's good. So who knows who's gonna live here, but whenever they do, we gotta be ready for it. Cause Gigi just sort of popped up. Like there was no meeting her on an island or meeting her at the campsite. There we go, pretty cool. Um, we're also gonna pick up a lot of this stuff because once again, I just wanna make this area nice and clean for whoever does move in. That would be nice, right? But I guess I would make this area a bit more of the residential area. Like, if I if I look at the map, right? Hard to decide for right now, but I'm thinking the bottom left, where everybody is, is going to be the shopping residential area, or the, the commerce center, I guess. Resident services, the shop, Taylor's site, um, all that stuff will be in the bottom left. The top left is going to be the recreational center. That is going to be um, things like the park, the camp, anything that we might just want to design that's fun. And then I guess the entirety of the right side could all just be residential in terms of just people living there, um, which is good because we'll need a lot more room for that. I definitely want to design it in a way that maybe it's a little bit more clearly cut, but for right now, this is pretty good. So there's not a lot like really getting done in today's episode, but there's a lot of planning. You know, we're planning with the tailor shop and the incline and this house and just the general scope of our island. And that's really important and it's a good thing to do. So I'm happy about it. So I am going to take uh, Tom Nook's sort of nudge, um, the idea that we have to go and register those KK Slider songs that I've been earning up over time. So, oh, hey, it's Zebra, that's me. Are you behind your house? Yep. Zebra, how goes Project KK, Cheekers? I'm working on it. I'm obviously excited for the concert, but I'm like just as excited for you to build the power spot. Oh, I've got something good here. Take this too. 
Okay. This drying rack is something I won in a Miss Nintendique contest. Uh, you had to design the dress of your dreams. Mine was a pink and frilly, and it made you float through the air. <laughs> now, oh, they're like Princess Peach from Mario 2. <laughs> no, I don't know how that was supposed to work either, but it was enough for the judges. Anywho, I was lucky enough to win this drying rack, so it might be lucky too. <laughs> Go ahead, take it. Put it somewhere on this island to get that good energy flowing. Yeah, I don't really have too much of an idea what I would do with that, but <laughs> okay. I'll certainly keep it in mind. Don't know where I'd put it on my island that would really work, you know? But what I want to do for right now, I want to organize some of my inventory, put some stuff away, register KK Slider songs, see if there's anything in my storage right now that I might want to put outside. Um, if not, we'll also check out DIY stuff. So like, there's, there's a whole list of things to do, um, starting with putting some stuff away. So got the floating biotope planner. I did want to put this somewhere, didn't I? I don't know, this might be actually be good for outside, so I'll keep that for right now. Um, the KK Ray I'm gonna put it away for now so I can keep things organized. Put the fossils in the bottom right because I'm going to, uh... Also, can I... Oh, I can't hold all of them at once. I gotta put some of those away. Um, we'll put all the fossils in the bottom right so that I can know to sell those. And anything else that I wanna sell. The sand dollars, the other shells. I will probably just put the, the weeds away for when Leaf shows up. Put in storage. Um, and then learn this stuff. So the drinking fountain. There we go, sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for the drinking fun. I wonder if that goes away, or if I'll have to remember. Hopefully the game will tell me if I try to buy it. Okay, so sweet, we learned a recipe for a brick well. And then finally, uh, learned a recipe for a log chair. That was the one that Celia gave us, so it's cool to see that. Um, put away this and the rocks. Uh, ironing set. So that is pretty cool to get, that and the little laundry thing. You know, let's just set that over here. Into this room. Maybe this will be our chore room. That is like the boringest idea I could have for a room. I mean, I know we eventually want the instrument room. Maybe that could just be this one then. You know what? Yeah, why not? I know that the other room we wanted to be our kitchen, which I thought was fun. So I don't think that I'll go forward with this, this chore room. But uh, maybe we'll do something with that stuff eventually. For right now, though, go ahead and put that in storage. Here is a drying rack and a stick. And I guess I'll sell these. I didn't even mean to pick these up. Just sort of happened that way. Yeah, in here is where I, if I have any musical things, I want to get them out now. So, no, oh, that was the right place. So this is everything. This is by alphabetical. Um, this is by time type. So that would be all the clothing, all the pictures, all of that. Um, so I'll just sort of have to comb through and see what our options are. A lot of this I, I have to like either decide to get rid of or do something with, you know? I'm not really sure. Uh, well, you have some nice plants. I definitely have to do some stuff with that. Two types of sinks, a scale, a bidet. <laughs> we have a whole set of bathroom things. I really do need to work on that. Oh, pinball machine? I forgot we had that. Um, outdoor generator. I need that outside. So let's go ahead and move that to our pockets. Um, yeah, is there anything else out here that like I could definitely put outside to make it work? Um, nothing that I... Oh, this is an outdoor air conditioner. I might as well. This is for the kitchen. This is a sewing project. I know we have a lot of speakers, like a cassette player, uh, an amp, metronomes, recycled can thumb piano. It is an instrument. Uh, we have a portable record player, a cute music player, all sorts of different music players, which is cool. Um, and that looks like the most of my musical instruments. Uh, so I do have to figure more of that out. So the garden gnome, yeah, let's go ahead and get that for the outside. And is there a way to put the wreaths on the windows or on the doors outside? I would think, but maybe not. Um, hmm. And these are all of our HHA plaques, which is actually pretty cool. Um, and this is what I wanted for the music room, the heavy curtain wall. And then what kind of flooring would I want with that? Maybe the pine? We'll have to decide eventually, but. That might be my best bet. We have a hermit crab in here. I probably want to take that out this out. And look at this, a tambourine. Thank you. I don't know if I can put that down is the thing. That's why it's in there like that. Look at how much iron nuggets we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stacks of them right here. Um, well, nine and a half, really. That's crazy. And even more rocks. And here's all of our KK slider stuff. I don't know if I have enough inventory for all this. Might have to come back. 
Yep, my pockets are full. Okay, so let's start figuring some stuff out then. Um, first a rock guitar. <laughs> That's cool that we could just play it like that. I'm just gonna push this into the corner. We got like a nice cream colored guitar. <laughs> I love it. Um, outdoor generator, outdoor air conditioner, cassette player uh, is what we need next. And I don't know how much of this stuff we'll actually keep around as the cassette players and stuff. Because this is where I can register music. Um, so bubblegum KK. Hey. Um, why can't I? Oh, I have two of them? Oh no, I've bought multiples by mistake. Go KK Rider. I love it. Uh, KK Moody. Uh, KK Reggae. Uh, KK Samba. <laughs> cool, so I'll have to get more of those figured out, but for right now we also have an amp, which I wanna put right next to the guitar, cause it only makes sense, right? There we go, wow, that amp is huge. I don't know if that actually makes the guitar louder, but it'd be cool if it did, but at least it matches with the color. We get our metronome, and once again, this room isn't the biggest, so I don't think I'll be keeping all this stuff around, but what's cool about a metronome is it sort of helps you keep pacing, as you can hear. So, these can be useful for music creation, I suppose. But I think it clashes with the music a little bit, so I'm going to... Oh, can I not turn it off? Wait, I think I did. There it goes, okay. Um, recycled can thumb piano is an instrument. I want it in here. And I, I, I have a feeling, a fear, that maybe we won't be able to have enough um, room for instruments out here, or in here. But I was thinking that maybe eventually, especially for instruments like this this thumb can or whatever it's called, maybe what we could do, and some of you were saying that apparently people, like your villagers will walk up and interact. And you can see all of our music is here too. Maybe I'll have this in another room so we can just have music all over the place. Uh, but they'll go up and interact with stuff. So maybe we could have an in outdoor music area too. Portable record player. See, maybe I've, I've done a little too much here. I do like the aesthetic of this a little bit better though. So I think we'll keep with that one. Um, we got the cute music player, the garden gnome. Um, so the heavy curtain wall. Wow, fancy. Uh, and also, I like it, I like it. It is, it is very theatrical. So we can actually place the tambourine now. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'll just push that over there for now. So obviously I'm not really the best interior decorator. I'm sure you've all noticed that by this point. But uh, I can at least get it set up like this. I don't want it too far over because I want to still be able to reach the guitar. I don't know, so I can't do that right now. Perfect. So we can go. <laughs> be, be a one man band. Um, what's next? Is there anything really? I guess not. So maybe I'll put some of this other stuff away so I can figure it out later. Uh, at least with the players. Tape deck and everything. But definitely we can also go and get more KK Slider stuff. So we have Marine Song 2001, My Place, Only Me, Spring, did we buy two of these as well? I need to get like a checklist or something. Cause I've accidentally bought duplicates. Maybe I can give them away to other people. We also have a Sahara ticket. I think I need to earn multiple of those to really make them worthwhile. Did I put these away? If I did, I didn't mean to, because I need to sell these. Well, the Manila Clam I can keep away, actually. Uh, where did that go? Right here. Okay, put in storage. And, Let's get that like that, okay, cool. So, we'll register more of these songs. We'll see if that does anything. I don't think it will, but like, I don't know, with the way that Tom Nook said it, it definitely could be possible. So we have over this way, Marine Song 2001. Let's, let's play that one. We also have My Place. <laughs> I love all the art for these, they're so cool. Only Me. Uh, spring Blossoms. So we can't do the other Spring Blossoms now, but that's fine. Um, stale Cupcakes. I'm curious about this one. This one sounds like it'd be sad. 
it's at least relaxing. We got Steep Hill. I turned off the music a little bit. But there's Steep Hill. And Surf and KK. <laughs> And then finally, the last one we have right now, Wandering. Cool. I wish those could just follow me around a little. Why, hear it in here? I won't. Interesting. So it definitely will be worth the setup some of this stuff. We still have the egg day room in here. I definitely want to change that into the kitchen soon. But I don't even have like proper kitchen sinks and stuff right now. This room sort of <laughs> creeps me out right now. It's just, it's so silent and so colorful. At the same time, it is covered out of, covered with outdated holiday things. And why do I still even have this here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a good interior decorator, okay? Um, so, I do want to see like our different crafting options. Because you know, we have like some stuff like a table, stool, end tables. Uh, but, is this by new? Alphabetical order obtained. Yeah, that's what I want, order obtained. Um, so we have the log chair, the brick well, that needs clay, wood, and a flimsy shovel. Really, a shovel? Huh. Okay, we can do this one pretty easily to make the drinking fountain. Um, a cherry speakers, raccoon figurine, um, some of these I definitely haven't seen. Timber door plate, so I definitely gotta be able to put this on the door somehow. Um, the manga library wall we saw, we would need 10 magazines. Oh yeah, we could buy some of those from Tom Nook. It's so interesting. Um, maybe at some point. It's weird that we can spin some things around, but we can't spin this. I guess like some more of the complicated things you just can't spin. Um, and there's like hedges and stuff. For that I would need some tree branches and some stones. And we have a knight's helmet. What are these? These are document stacks. Scattered papers. How do we make scattered papers? So there's lots of options for everything. I'm just sort of looking around and seeing those options. The tire stack would be cool because we do actually have several tires. And a little terrarium. We need clumps of weeds and iron nuggets. Hmm. I still really want this. But without the ironwood dresser and cutting cutting board, which we just don't have. And if we do by series, that definitely makes it a little bit more clear what we do have and what we don't. We could make a frying pan. Oh man, when the uh when everything is ready, we definitely want that in our kitchen, right? Um Okay. And it is nighttime, maybe I should be looking for some shooting stars. I don't know if I'll find any, but worth it to look, right? So, what is the one thing I wanna make right now? I am thinking, out of everything we see here, I think I wanna make the fountain. The fountain should be something I should be able to set up by the, the, uh, the play park, that would be cool. So where was that? That was hopefully down here. And this is also another nice little thing, like the ring toss. I thought that's more of an indoor game than an outdoor game though. Oh, but that bench would be so cool, the swinging bench. Hmm, lots to consider for sure. But what happened to the, oh, here it is. Um, so this is eight stone, two iron nuggets. We can do that. Um, uh, the washing machine was going off, that scared me for a second. Um, so the stone should be down this way. I just need to do the small stack. Same thing here. And let's make that water fountain. Right here, gotcha. Let's do it. So it's one step closer, you know, we got a couple of things set up in today's episode. We got the incline, a new potential house, a water fountain, it's all pretty cool stuff. And we registered a bunch of KK songs. So hopefully all of that combined will make some good progress for us in the upcoming episodes for actually getting KK Slider to visit us. But we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Um, so yeah, we'll just jump across right now so that I can set up this water fountain. Because you know, running around all day, playing at the park, you want a water fountain to replenish yourself. So where would that be? Drinking fountain, place. Perfect. What other things did we have? Outdoor air conditioner, outdoor generator, the planter, and a garden gnome. Don't know if that's too much stuff we want around here exactly. Because I, I just don't want this area to be too crowded. But you know what, we're gonna give, I don't think it's her style, but she's getting a garden gnome. <laughs> It's my welcome to the neighborhood gift. Perfect. My, oh, hi, Pashmina, how are you? Ha, we keep meeting up, so uh, Manin's been treating you well, kidders? Uh, yeah, I wanna chat. Ever been to Gigi's place? I like how she's got it laid out, kidders, especially that garden though. It really just feels like Gigi, you know? 
Also, do you want, um, do you want this? Can I give you KK Slider music? Yes, I can. All right, here you go. Bubblegum KK, right? Very cool. Cool recommendation. I'll definitely give it a listen. Thanks, Zebra. Okay, so this isn't my best way to say thanks, but it's not the worst either. I've got a thousand bells here for you. So this is kind of one of those, it's the thought that counts situations, kidders. Count, count spells, that is. All right then. <laughs> I appreciate it, for sure. And then lastly, we'll, we'll give the other one to somebody. I've already given something to Gigi, right? Or no, I haven't, I gave something to Kyle. So maybe I, I should knock on Gigi's door and see. I mean, her lights are not on, so I don't think she's home. She's still walking around, so we'll try to find her. Don't tell her I was the one who set up the little gnome, though. She's still not gonna be happy to, about that, I have a feeling. I mean, maybe she'll understand that, you know, it was a gift. What was with the, what made the tree shake? Was it just me running by it? I suppose so. Anyways, Gigi was right over here. Hi, Gigi. Uh, I guess I can't give you it. Uh, when I go bug catching, I'm very mindful to only catch them temporarily. Even if I scare them away, I find it so moving to watch them fly off into the vast blue sky. Well, that's very sweet of you. Anyways, it looks like we got our Nook Miles for talking to some villagers with that one. Awesome, glad to have it. We do need to build our Nook Miles back over time, but I'm not too worried about it right now. No, we did what we could. But anyways, apparently when it comes to shooting stars, you are just supposed to look into the sky and press A repeatedly until a shooting star passes and you can just get one. Don't know if I'm gonna bother with that too much right now, but good to keep in mind. Apparently there are also nights where you can have a lot of shooting stars, like it's just a shower. Do I have this bug? I don't know if I do. I think I tried to catch it and I failed miserably. Not anymore. Yeah, what is this? I caught a violin beetle. Oh, I totally see that. Apparently, I'm as fit as a fiddle. So let's go ahead and donate that pronto before I forget, but that's cool. Finishing things off with a new donation today too. So things are working out great. Hey Blathers, buddy. Wonder what book he reads. Uh, make a donation. I am donating a violin beetle. Here you go. So. I mean, maybe I will ask him to describe it then because I don't—I didn't see the option to get the descriptions in the actual museum part, so I'm worried that I'm missing out on these. The violin beetle gets its name from its shape. That is, some think it resembles a stringed instrument. If you ask me, that is an insult to violins. With its flat body and small head, the violin beetle looks nothing but a repulsive bug, plain and simple. I think that's a little rude, don't you think? In fact, it is so repulsive it oozes a foul liquid when frightened. Ugh, this insect strikes a sour note indeed. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. I just love how he gets from so sour to so sweet. <laughs> okay, well, I'm fine. Glad you liked it. We're heading out of here. So yeah, so far so good. I don't know if anybody wants to take this last KK Slider song, but I can always give it to them later. Um, I'm guessing that maybe by my house I can set up the AC. I don't know if I actually want it anywhere too visible, but I think it would be just like a nice touch to set up somewhere. Um, Cause that's how, you know, these outdoor air conditioners work, right? Obviously it's not just cool you down outside, but they're like units that you put outside that cool down your house. I don't know, maybe that's a silly idea. But there we go, we'll just do that. It's the summer months, it's hot. Cause usually you like plug that into your house and it'll go through the vents. So you know what, ah, you know what? I should probably put the generator by the campsite. That'd be the whole point of the generator, right? So if you if I put it near a building that already has electricity, that'd be a bit silly. I don't know where exactly we wanna put it. Maybe somewhere like a little towards the back like this. I don't know if it's something that you can even turn on. Very noisy, so I don't think we'll keep it on. But uh, good to know. And then lastly, the floating biotope planner. You know what? I'll just put that out here too. <laughs> Covered up by the tree. Maybe I can move it. Maybe I can't. It's being a little bit stingy right now. Okay. And we'll just push it over like this. I might wanna just move this tree yeah, might as well. 
Got the axe right here. And shovel it up. Cool. So this camping site's, oh no, I just put that there. <laughs> it's looking pretty spiffy now. Let's fix my mistake. Oh my gosh, so silly. Is that better? I sure hope so. Like the campsite, Pashmina? You impressed? Oh, she's smelling. She's like, oh, what's cooking? Sorry, I keep keep bothering you. See you around. So there we go. I've had a lot of fun in today's episode, just sprucing up the town. I will go to Isabel one last time, and we'll see if she can't give me a good assessment. You would think that with all this stuff, we'd be able to get it past one measly star, but who knows? Who knows? Seems to be more complicated than I first thought it would be. Hi, Isabel. How are you? Oh, Zebra, good evening. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, I want evaluations. So you're serious about the, you're curious about the current image of Stripe? It's still one star. So if any of you guys have any advice for me, I'd love to hear it. Folks are feeling like we still have room for improvement. Allow me to read it and sir. I know it's gonna be about ghosts. Oh wait, whoa, okay, there's something. It's great that there isn't too much going on. I hope it'll stay nice and unassuming like me. That's not too helpful. Well, there you have it. Now, if we want feedback from anyone else, increasing the population might be our main focus. But let me know if you have any time after that because the island scenery needs some work as well. Okay, the sound is not small, which means I'll take plenty of furniture and such to dress, it'll take plenty of furniture and su such to dress it up to the nines. Now, variety is preferable, but I hear you can use Nook Shopping to buy something you've bought before. No matter how you choose to decorate this island, with your taste, I have no doubt it'll look great. I'm trying, um, and there you have it. Just let me know next time you'd like to hear the latest island feedback. Can I help you with anything else? I'm good for now. All right then, if there's anything I can assist you with in the future, please don't hesitate to ask. Well, that was a lot of fun. So yeah, with that being said, I had a lot of fun playing today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching along with me. We'll continue to try to improve our town and spruce it up with more things. Maybe because I'm so picky, it's just hard to find things that, uh, or it's hard to up it. Maybe I just need to continually bombard the entire town with more goodies and just have it be totally littered. I just don't want it to feel like a junkyard, you know? That would be a little awkward. Anyways, for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.